Hello and welcome back to Fantabulous Bags, where we do product development sketches for handbags. Today we have this uh, little cosmetic pencil case. It is a heat set seam with a real nylon zipper. Sometimes I just use a, uh, a nylon type, not really a, a PVC add-on, kind of like a Ziploc bag, kind of like a glorified Ziploc bag. This has a little bit of a neon tone to it. It is type of PVC called Super Clear. It's kind of stiff, but you can really see through and it doesn't have any cloudiness about it, which is very common for this kind of thing. Uh, it's also more expensive. So this little thing, well, expensive being like, as opposed to five cents a bag, this one is probably called more like 25 cents, you know, really expensive. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at our bag. We um, have our nylon zipper. We have this type of heat set seam, and we have this little plastic doohickey here, and just a metal zipper pull that's painted to match. Okay, so let's go to it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to grab our trusty tape measure, and we're going to look to see. So it is about nine and a quarter by four and let's see, flat, 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 four and a half. Okay, so let's go ahead. First thing, we're going to grab a ruler and we're going to just go halfsies on it so that we can work with it. Uh, let's see, so nine and a quarter. I'm gonna go from inches Okay, you can do it in half and a little bit, and cheat a little bit. And go there. And quarter by four and a half, so. Okay. So we're going to give ourselves that. All right. You can use some kind of idea of proportionality. You can go from centimeters to half inches, something like that, just so you have an idea of what exactly you're doing. Okay, so let's see. We're going to give ourselves this box. Very easy. Now we're going to cut off the corners because as you can see, this has like a little rounded corner. So we're going to do that. Cut off our corners. I'm just going to do a really quick sketch. This actually has a, a just like a fold over piece of PVC. So we're just going to emulate that. We have this cut out here and that's where our zipper is gonna be placed. So where do we go? Go draw in our zipper and there. We're gonna, just for the sake of being three dimensional, we're going to add the zipper teeth coming to the top there. All right, and here we're going to put our zipper head. Little plastic thing. Actually, it's not plastic, it's metal. But I don't even know what that is. It's, I doubt it's a YKK because this is a really cheap thing. I don't know. You, actually, it's plastic. Wow, that's a plastic thing. All right. Okay, so now let's put in our... Or you could do it... Actually, sometimes they like to flare it out. So we're going to put our little nylon cord up this way. Okay, so we're getting there. Now we do our little plastic end cap for the zipper pull. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's like rounded. Just a snap-on thing that they put on. This is the type that you put on with the pliers, and it snaps on and stays there, hopefully. Okay, so now we have our sketch. Uh, next, we're going to, we have to add, because this is a production sketch, a, a product development sketch, we have to make sure that we are very accurate in the type of seam that we're doing. So this is a heat set seam. You want to show that. So we're going to do that. Heat set seams. All right. They're either a machine or an actual mold that they just press onto the to the article they're making, whether it's a bag or a pouch or whatever it is, it just kind of, sometimes it looks like a sewing machine almost. It has little 
feet and it le leaves little dots on it. It's kind of weird. Okay, so the next one is the zipper actually has like these specific little points on it, the seam, and that's to make sure that the zipper doesn't come out because that would be really bad if the zipper came out, as you can imagine. Okay, so the, we're going to add that detail and we're almost done with our pencil. All right, so now next, we want this to look a little bit three-dimensional. Yes, in fact, it is a product development sketch and it doesn't have to be gorgeous, but you don't want it to be hideous either. And you also want to give an idea of three-dimensionality for certain aspects of what you're doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a, a Sharpie or a brush pen, whatever you like. I'm going to use a Sharpie today. And we're just going to go around the outer edge of our sketch and anything that is three-dimensional, like the outer edge of the zipper pull, et cetera. For a lot, we use a lighter, thinner pen for seams and details that are not, expl I mean, everything's three-dimensional because we live in a three-dimensional world, but things that are flatter, we use a smaller pen for. Okay, so we're gonna go around. So you have a nice, chunky, very um, bold line that our Sharpie gives us. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so here we go. This kind of turns up because the PVC kind of comes into the zipper. Okay, so now we go this way and now we're going to trace around our zipper pull. There. Look at that. Ah, isn't that lovely? All right there now we're doing pretty well we're doing pretty well let's go ahead okay so we're done with our sharpie we already have the outline of our uh, pouch now it looks very three-dimensional this is kind of a dumb sketch, but the truth is when you're doing product development, this is the kind of thing you wind up doing like all the time. I remember when I first started product development, we started to do a lot of these things for Ulta. It was just like all day and light making different type of pouches. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna grab a fine line pen. I don't recommend an extra fine just because when you scan this and, and you wanna put it into a computer and you know, make a digital image of it. If you make it too fine a line, sometimes the scanner doesn't pick it up and then your toast and your whole sketch is, you know, useless for that. I mean, it's still a pretty sketch, but okay. So here we're going to go around and we're going to get all the little details like the hole here and this and other areas that don't need to be three-dimensional, like the detail here on this clap-on puller. And also, for example, this zipper puller is made with a nylon cord. So you want, you could put in a little weave detail in there. So, uh, you know, they know what it is. You're gonna have, when you do your spec, you have to mention all this on your spec, this is that, what color it is, the weight. If there's a style number of a specific item that you wanna use, you have to put that there. But it's also good to put it in the sketch because a lot of the sample hands you will be dealing with might not speak English at all or English is definitely not their first language. So you wanna make sure that the sketch reflects what you are asking for unless you know who you're dealing with. Okay, let's see. So now I'm going to put in the zipper. There, you see now my pen is dead. It's dying, so I'm gonna go over it again. Make sure that you can, when you do this, being that we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator with this, we wanna make sure that all our lines are nice and lively so that the scanner picks it up and Adobe picks it up when you go to do an image trace because that's the way I work. Some people just go ahead and do everything on the computer. I am not crazy about that. So now I'm drawing the zipper teeth. Another detail that will indicate to the sample hand what you want. Okay, so next we're going to do our 
heat set stitch, which is just a little line, really. It's not like a, you know, it doesn't have thread in it. It's just a heat set stitch. Any heat set stitch usually just runs parallel. So it's just like that. All right. Or seam. I mean, it's not really a stitch. It's a seam. The, although there are some heat set stitch that actually looks like a stitch has like a little bump in it and it goes in and out. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this zipper. Cheap, cheap, cheap. All right, here we go. This zipper heat set seam, which is a little bit bolder because they don't want the zipper to get ripped open, which would be pretty bad for something, especially if you're like working with a company like, uh, you know, Chanel or something and it's a free giveaway. Well, not Chanel, like probably like, I don't know, Strivectin, that they give away these bags. They would be very upset if their bag falls to pieces on the first zip. So you want to make sure that that seam is nice in there. Okay, so now we're going to add that very carefully. Add your heat set seam detail. All this will be colored in on Adobe Illustrator next week. So actually... <laughs> Ta-da, we're done. And as you can see, it's pretty close to the original. Um, next thing is next week, we're going to plop this in the computer and add color. Okay, so I'm just going to erase my pencil marks, scan it in, and I will see you guys next week. All right, I hope you enjoyed this silly little class. And remember, sometimes this is the bread and butter of your career, doing cosmetics, accessories, and stuff like that, okay? So, uh, hope you enjoy, hope you subscribe, and see you around. Bye!